One of the most classic types of mathematical problems is that of a geometric construction with only a straight edge and a compass. We're going to solve this puzzle from ArchimedesLab.com using only a straight edge, no compass required. The problem is this. We have a circle and a diameter AB through the center O of the circle. Consider then an arbitrary point P outside of the circle. It's our job, using only a straight edge, to construct a line through P which is perpendicular to that diameter AB. For those unfamiliar with this type of problem, you can't just say, well, if we continued AB, it would look like that, and so a line through P, something like that, would be perpendicular. We can't just eyeball it, right? Instead, we have to use the straight edge to construct things in such a way that, thanks to the properties of mathematics and the laws of geometry, the line we make has to be perpendicular to the diameter. You may want to pause the video now and try the puzzle yourself. See if you can find a way to construct a line through P that's perpendicular to AB using only a straight edge. If you want a hint, let me tell you the two main geometric results that we're going to use in our construction. The first is Thales' theorem. It says if AC is a diameter of a circle and B is any other point on the circle, then the angle ABC is a right angle. For example, here's a sketch of a circle and a diameter of the circle, which we could call AC. Thales' theorem tells us if we take any other point on this circle, say a point B, then that angle ABC is in fact a right angle. No matter where this point is on the circle, once you connect it to that diameter's endpoints, you're going to get a right angle. And the other fact we'll use is that the three altitudes of a triangle intersect at a point called the orthocenter. An altitude of a triangle is a segment from one vertex which is perpendicular to the opposite side. Every triangle has three altitudes since they could come from any of the three vertices. In this case, you can see two altitudes of the triangle lie outside of the triangle, but that's fine. If we continue these altitudes on, they would intersect at a single point. I had to bend this line a little bit because this is just a rough sketch, but that's the point where they intersect. Again, it's called the orthocenter. All right, friends, if you've cracked your knuckles and prepared for battle, you're ready. Let's begin the construction. All we have at our disposal is a straight edge, but thankfully that is precisely enough. We're going to begin by drawing the line from point A on the circle to that point P off the circle. Where this line intersects the circle at that point other than A, let's label that and we will call this point Q. The gist of the strategy here, by the way, is that we're going to construct a triangle so that our line through P is one side of the triangle and AB is part of the altitude of the triangle, which must be perpendicular to that line through P. We're going to get our first perpendicular right now by drawing the line that connects Q and B. And remember, it is by Thales' theorem that we know this is in fact perpendicular to the line through A and P. Because of course, this angle has a point on the circle as its vertex and its rays pass through this diameter of the circle. Now the idea is we're going to want B to be the orthocenter of our triangle we're constructing. That way, this segment is going to be an altitude of our triangle. We're going to have an altitude coming from P and the line passing through AB will be an altitude to this other side that comes from P. But the next thing we're going to do is draw what is going to be another altitude by drawing the line that goes from P to B. Carrying this line out long enough, it intersects the circle at another point which we will call R. Then drawing the line through A and R is going to give us another right angle. How do we know that this here is a right angle? Well, again, it's from Thales' theorem. We have this point R on the circle as the vertex of an angle that opens up 
to a diameter of the circle. The geometry jargon is to say that this angle is subtended by the diameter. All right, now we have two altitudes of the triangle we're building towards. We have this altitude from Q through B, and we have this altitude from P through B. We don't have our triangle done yet. Can you see the one line we have left to draw to complete this construction? Ah, uh, what we have to do is connect P to this point of intersection here. We take this point of intersection as the third vertex of our triangle, and let's call that S. We are gonna draw this segment in red because it is the key, and this segment is the one that goes from P to S. And now we have this triangle, A, P, S, which like every triangle has three altitudes, which must intersect at a common point called the orthocenter. There is this altitude from P to the opposite side, A, S. There is this altitude from S to the opposite side, A, P. And remember, those two altitudes were constructed to intersect at that point on the circle, B, at the end of this diameter. Thus, the third altitude, which comes from A, has to pass through B, which means it has to be this diameter that goes from A to B, or more specifically, the line that contains it. So the diameter is there, AB, and if we were to carry that diameter on, it would intersect PS at a right angle. Again, this line through that diameter, AB, has to be perpendicular to this third side because we need a third altitude, which must by definition come from this third vertex, A, and it has to go through B because the other two altitudes intersect at B. So the common point of intersection for all three altitudes has to be that point B. Thus, the diameter lies on this line, which is perpendicular to PS. And so we've completed the objective of drawing a straight line passing through the point P so that it's perpendicular to the given diameter AB. Now, if the given point P had been over here, then drawing a line from A of course wouldn't have created that additional point of intersection that we needed, but in that case we could just draw the original line from B and we would have got a point of intersection just like we needed. Well, that sure was a hoot and a half. There's nothing like a good geometrical Sunday doodle. Let me know in the comments if you had any questions and be sure to subscribe for more of the swankiest math videos on the internet. I'm unstable, I'm feeling hard to keep the cable cut and untucked the table If Texas instruments don't reply, I think this time it might be fatal I Wish to sell my own fake, cause I'm jaded Hate the odds that I calculated Press and pull and pray and push it all the way through the whole blue planet Faded Psychosomatic habits, why you so, so